working with kids because like I've had pens thrown at me by adults. So I'd rather just like be with happy kids that are so. I always bring bubbles. That's like my thing, and I always bring. And these kids go nuts. They're just like jumping, twirling, shrieking, like giggling for bubbles. For me to be that happy. I'd have to be eating brie cheese, <laughs> watching the Mindy Project, and getting furiously fingered. You know? It's like, all at once. My girlfriends like to party really hard. These girls party. Any ladies in here you ever thought you were roofied? Turns out you just had 15 drinks. <laughs> That's how my girlfriends do it. You get that phone call, right? Morning after, you guys know what I'm talking about. Katie, oh my God, I don't remember getting home last night. I think I was roofied. Ah. I'm like, oh my God, Lauren, well, what did you have to drink? Well, I just had like three or four martinis. I had a couple double gin and tonics, and then I had a shot of Patron, and then I had a glass of Pinot Gris, and <gasps> that was when I started losing consciousness. <laughs> I'm like, oh, listen, I don't want to jump the gun, but you may have roofied yourself. <laughs> It takes a pretty devious rapist to roofie someone, then make sure they safely get to their ex-boyfriend's apartment at three in the morning. <laughs> Just put you right in a cab, you know? Suspicious. When you go through a breakup, uh, other people, girls like to scare you and to tell you how hard dating is. My friend told me a horror story. She's like, Oh my God, you're single? It's going to be so hard. My friend's friend went on a blind date with this guy. They made out. She got a mouth rash. She went, do you know her? Yeah, it's a fucked up story. So, like, she got a mouth rash. She went to the doctor. Doctor said, that's formaldehyde poisoning. Do you work in a morgue? Girl said, I don't, but the guy I went on a date with does. A week later, that guy got arrested for having sex with dead bodies. That story is so disgusting. It makes you want to kill yourself, right? Don't kill yourself and that guy's gonna fuck you. So, <laughs> stay alive. Just a little PSA. I'm a plus size lady. If you guys didn't notice, I'm very happy with it. I'm cool with it. Because for thousands of years, this was a desired body type, you guys, because it's very specific things. One is that I was well fed, so I was rich. Two is I could carry a baby to full term. And three, this was resilient. All right, you want to take this to pound town? I'm the fucking mayor. That's right. You'll break in half. I'm glad I'm a modern woman, right? Modern ladies. Ladies night. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if in a hundred years they'll be like, oh, can you believe those ladies used to rip out their pubic hair and put needles in their faces? <laughs> now cut off my fingers. <laughs> Think about it. Um, I have to go. I'll tell you one quick thing. though. I, the last guy I was dating... <laughs> He asked me if I would dress up in this French maid costume, and God, I was really hesitant because I have been tricked into cleaning before. 